All right, in part two of our lesson, we're going to be going into the blocks editor. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up your blocks editor. And we're going to get started by going to my blocks and then going to button red. And you're going to select the first one. When the red button is clicked, it's going to do this. Okay. So what we're going to we want it to do is we want it to you're going to go to my blocks and then drawing canvas. And you want to find where it says drawing canvas paint color. Drawing canvas and paint color. So we're telling it when we click the red button on the drawing canvas, we want it to paint the color and then we need to fill in that color. So to get the color red, you go to built in, you go to colors and you select color and red. So we're going to repeat that process and do that for the green and the blue buttons. And we'll go to built-in, we'll go to colors, green color, and blue. And once you know how to do this, you can go and you can add in more colors into your paint program. And I'll click save here, save that work. The next thing we're going to be doing is adding in the button for the white button. So you go to button wipe, and you're going to select when button wipe is clicked, you want it to do something. Alright, so we want it to go to the drawing canvas and clear it. So go to drawing canvas and you gotta do, you gotta find where it says drawing canvas and then clear. So very top, drawing canvas and clear. Alright, so if we click the white button, the drawing canvas should clear now. Okay. now I'm just going to save it, and I'm going to connect to the device so it'll be ready when I want to test it out. The next thing we're going to be doing is setting up the buttons for the touch and the drag effects. So a touch is when you place, place your finger on the canvas. Pardon interruption, Alejandra Hernandez, if you're in the building, please come to the principal's office. Alejandra Hernandez, if you're in the building, please come to the principal's office. A touch is when you place your finger on the canvas and you lift it without moving. Whereas a drag is when you place your finger on the canvas and you move your finger while keeping contact with the screen. So we're going to set up the touch and the drag buttons. Okay, to set up the touch, you go to My Blocks and you go to Drawing Canvas and then you select where it says when drawing canvas is touched pull that one out so we're saying Mr. Connell report to Mr. Dunant's office Mr. Connell so we're saying when the drawing canvas is touched we want it to do this so what we're going to add to it is under drawing canvas we want it to draw a circle so go to drawing canvas select call drawing canvas draw circle and then we need to add in some values so to add in the values you go to my blocks my definitions and for where it says X you're gonna select value X and then for Y you're gonna select value Y and then we need to select a, a variable for R so R is going to be number and 5, which stands for 5 pixels. So if you go to built-in and you select math, you select the first one that says number, and then you're going to change that to 5. So that's set up for when the canvas is touched. And then the last thing we have to do is when the drawing canvas is dragged. So we're going to go to my blocks, and go to drawing canvas 
and select the very first one when the drawing canvas is dragged. So under do, what we're going to add is drawing canvas and draw line. So you go under drawing canvas and select call drawing canvas draw line. And then we have to fill in the variables for it. So what we're going to do for that first one where it says x1 is we're going to go and select value of the previous x. So you go to my blocks, my definitions, and you select value previous x. And then for the y, you're going to go to my definitions again and then do value of the previous y and then x2 and y2 are going to be of the current x and y values so go under my definitions value current x value current y so what it's calculating is from the previous x to the current x location and from the previous y to the current y location and then it'll get its uh, information from there and draw it out so now we should be able to go um, now I always like to save it here and then open up the emulator unlock it and you should be able to click on like the red button for instance and draw out a red line or if you just click or touch it you get a circle and the value is correlated to this number five pixels it'll make it that big we'll go into green here drag out a green line blue drag out a blue line and if we click white it'll clear the screen so go ahead and try that out if you run into any problems just review video and that's it thank you